Hi everybody, I'm my TSTO Family Guy Harry Potter group and YouTube channel. Okay, so today's video is going to be for me unlocking Roberto De Niro and personal liability attorney. So, let's get started. Oh, by the way, those are unlockable for 150 donuts. So let's see what happens with this. Move this up here. Sorry about my, uh, my, uh, thing is a little slow. Doot do, do and there. So that's your building. And now we need to find the guy. There he is. At least this one has pants this time. Okay, Roberto De Niro. Are you talking to me? Are you talking to me? Well, if you get injured, you should be talking to me. Call Roberto De Niro, personal injury attorney. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Way to have a Robert De Niro, but, you know, we don't want to get sued. Okay, that completes the collection. And let's do his quest line. Mr. De Niro, are you seriously suggesting your fighting robot client's injury was not sustained in a robot fight, but in a traffic accident? Your Honor, it's not a suggestion. My client was injured while crossing a Springfield street. But his client, Car but his client Carnage, said accident was engaged in an epic clash with several other gigantic robots. It was live on the news. And just for clarity purposes, where did this epic showdown take place? I don't see how that's relevant to the case. Well, I'd like to know. The fight occurred on a crosswalk. Well, technically, yes. However, again, I don't see how that's germane to the... Your Honor, that school bus went through a red light and hit my client while he was crossing the street. Sure, he was fighting against other evil robots while crossing the street, but the fact of the matter is, his mechanical feet were within the boundaries of the crosswalk, and it was indeed the pedestrian's turn to cross the road. Those are all good points. Considering the usual circumstance, I find myself favoring the plaintiff carnage destructiveness and awarding him for damages amounting to $500,000 for the injuries sustained by the reckless driving of one auto man of Springfield Elementary. Skidder! That money is coming out of your school's budget. Otto, that money is coming out of your salary. Skidder! You can't take money out of his salary. That would be highly illegal. Roberto, you did it. Outstanding. In my quest to obliterate humans, I never thought I'd feel such regard for the human lawyer. I am more impressed by your navigation of the slow but powerful gears of the American legal system. Thanks, Mr. Destructicus. Now, if you'll excuse me, I must extend my services to other potential street fighters. But aren't you already representing my fellow mechanized mates? Indeed, but a lawyer's job is never done, especially when robot-induced chaos is just another Thursday. Okay, try to find new clients. Love the animation for that. Okay. Mr. De Niro, are you orchestrating accidents just to drum up business for your shady law practice? What? Of course not, young lady. I merely practice my right to, um, enhance environment artistically tosses banana peel on the sidewalk. <laughs> You're littering in Springfield. That's like our third worst environmental crime, right after a toxic waste-filled river and our tire fire that never stopped burning. Uh, littering, schmittering, and small potatoes, or should I say, small banana peels. <laughs> That's it. Your cavalier attitude towards our town and its environmental and safety laws is appalling. I'm taking you to court, Mr. De Niro. <laughs> A court battle with an eight-year-old. Don't have to get your parents' permission to sue me. Probably, but for five dollars, Bart will sign anything with Homer's signature. Ten dollars. What? Since when? Hey, don't blame me. Blame inflation. Fine, here's ten dollars. Brace yourself, Mr. De Niro, because you're about to learn a lesson in civic responsibility. Oh, fun. 
Your Honor, we'll prove beyond a reasonable doubt that the defendant willfully littered on the street. I'm not just talking about any old litter. We're dealing with the holy trinity of dangerous trash here. A banana peel, a bucket of marbles, and a truckload of tiny toy cars. Really? A littering case? If I had known this was on my docket, I would have extended my vacation in Costa Rica. Judge Snyder, I've taken the case pro bono, and I never do that. Your Honor, this is so cold, lawyer, as it had a vendetta against me ever since I wiped the floor with him earlier today in a separate case. Fine, let's just hurry it up. My wife gets home before me, I lose custody of remote for the night, and I can't suffer through another real housewives of Potomac reunion. Sorry, I can't pronounce stuff. Okay, make Roberto go to trial. And do and make blue hair present arguments. And they, why does it keep doing that? And there, make Lisa glare at Roberto. And check his watch. Stop it. There we go. So, do to do, do. And one more to go, I think. I don't know why it's at a different place, but that's fine. Your Honor, this whole trial is a sham. The plaintiff doesn't have a single witness to her name. Oh, really? Permission to call our surprise witness, Your Honor. Surprise witness? No one told me about this. If we had, it wouldn't have been a surprise. Okay, okay, everyone. Quickly hide in the courtroom. Uh, I hate surprise parties. Homer, it's a surprise witness. This is your civic duty. And silence your cell phones and turn off the lights. Sorry. Okay. Bailiff, please bring the surprise witness. Shh. Everyone, quiet, quiet. Hello, it's so dark. It's like a courtroom rave. Surprise. Surprise? Whoa, how'd you all know it was my birthday? Otto, you're the surprise witness. Sorry, Mr. De Niro, that Lisa girl is scary and convincing, but me and my raccoon Randy saw everything. Well, he saw everything and told me about it. So really, your star witness is a raccoon named Randy? Yeah, I'm not too worried. Okay. Make him badger the witness. <laughs> and make Lisa chuckle. <laughs> Okay, here we go. And do to do, do. I'm Jackson, Your Honor. Your witness just attacked me, so I think I should be the one objecting. Master De Niro is clearly raccooning the witness. That not that's not a real thing. I've heard enough. I rule in favor of the plaintiff. But I didn't even present my arguments. Yes, but the witness is currently eating banana peels from your briefcase. <laughs> ah! I hope you learn your lesson, Mr. De Niro. Yes, I learned that I need to buy a lock for my briefcase. That's it. Okay. Weird. Sorry about all the voices. I'm still learning how to do them. And, you know, my voice is pretty crappy, so eh, do something interesting. Okay, so that concludes everything for this event. I'm hoping, yep, that's everything, everything. Okay, so thank you so much for watching these videos for the, the great Burns Bee event. Uh, this is the final video of this event. I'll be doing more videos for whatever event pops up soon, hopefully something soon, and I'll be doing them. So thank you for watching this video. Appreciate it. Uh, uh, don't, uh, don't forget, feel free to subscribe to my channel and like my videos. And as usual, happy tapping because this is the way.